Hey, what's going on, y'all? This feel good. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. If not, now you already know what to expect. So I just want to talk to you today about the state of the market, the climate of the market. It's not looking too good right now. It's a red sea. But if you got spare money, I would not invest right now. Normally, I'd be like, you know, take advantage of the sales, take advantage of the dip. But at the end of the year, I don't think that's the best thing to do with my experience from investing. So what you see on the screen right now is just the heat map of the stock market. Like I said, you see a lot of red, look, look very Christmas, Christmas like, you know, red and green. But for the most part, the stock market is down. Um, you see, if you notice right here, the only sector in the market that's you know, a little green is your consumer defense, tele telecom services, your healthcare sector, and your energy sector, utility sector. So why is not a good time to take advantage of the dip right now? Before I answer that, I am not a financial advisor. I cannot tell you what to do with your money. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing with my money, you know? So Everything that I'm saying is just from my experience, my opinions. This is not to be taken as facts. But with that being said, my experience, I feel like at the end of the year, it's not a good time to buy the dip just for the fact that, A, a lot of big money institutions, uh, big wells, whatever you want to call it, smart money, they want to collect on their profits. You know, they've been investing all year. Christmas around the corner. Um, you know, they're taking advantage of these Black Friday deals. Um, and then also, they want to sell some of the stocks that they already was in the red in so they can minimize on their tax liability. So um, this happened last year. This happened a year before last. It just seems like shortly after Thanksgiving, you kind of start seeing the market kind of tank. And they normally don't rebound until, you know, late January, February, something like that. And then it kind of like tanks again during the summertime. So you can still make money in the market like this, but you just got to know the cycle. So like, as you can see, technology for the most part is red, but technology, technology for the majority of the year it's, it's been, you know, doing good above average. So people just taking out their money out of certain sectors. Oh, there we go. People taking their money out of certain sectors and putting them into something else like your consumer defense. You see, it kind of makes sense to put money into your Walmarts and Costco's and Kroger, uh, all of these things because the holidays. And once you start becoming uh, familiar and more active and consistent with trading, you will start to see some of the stock market cycles. It doesn't happen verbatim or, or on a schedule per se, but, you know, around certain seasons, you can kind of expect certain things. So that's the stock market side of the game. Let's look at crypto. Everything crypto is red and which I'm still trying to understand exactly why, because normally it kind of offsets one another, the crypto market and the stock market. If one doing bad, usually the other one doing good uh, or both doing good at the same time. You rarely have both markets tanking at the same time. But the only thing that I can come up with is what I just said about the stocks. You know, people want to collect their profit. People want to collect the money and the gains that they get over the years, over the months, you know. So it's Christmas time. Why not take out some money, you know, pay off some things, get your family, you know, gifts and, you know, cut down on some of that tax liability. If you on, if you are in the negative on some certain, if you are in the negative on some of your positions, why not just cash out and, you know, take a few L's? Um. I will, if I was to put money in anything right now, I would stay away from stocks and I would kind of like focus on crypto right now and take advantage of this particular deal because crypto is the future. 
crypto has a lot of potential more so than the stocks. I mean, it can get up to the, you know, dollar amount of stocks. But anyway, crypto is, you know, basically where it's at right now. So I would take advantage of buying the dip in crypto before I would the stocks and just let the stocks play out. It's a lot of manipulations on the stock side. And Jerome Powell, you know, the Federal Reserve Bank chairman, every word he says can make the stock market fluctuate for the good or for worse, for good or for, for, uh, for worse, like I said. So, um, yeah, I'm just giving you my opinion. You know, double check me if you want to. Um, but like I said, I will focus more so on the crypto side. But the main thing that you really want to check during times like this, or really every day, every day you might want to look at these particular charts that I'm about to show you. And I got the support and resistance showed up already. Um, what you're looking at right here is the VIX, the VIX index. That stands for the volatility index. Um, let me just go back to the peak of the pandemic the candle bars went way above the ceiling, which means the higher the bars go, the more uncertainty there is in the stock market. The higher, the, the higher this number right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. The higher these number go, see like at the peak of the pandemic, it was around 85 points. That's the first time it done ever i'm gonna say i'm gonna say the first but the first time in a long time it has ever hit that 80 90 percent you know 90 point range but it was the the peak of the pandemic and since then once the vaccinations became you know available and the fear kind of settled down it went back to its levels prior it's still above prior than what it was before the pandemic but it's still near the same levels of what it was before the pandemic but recently it's starting to creep up you see it's been consolidating or, or going flat for uh, for most of the year until now it seems like you want to go towards that 40 point range so when this chart start to go up, you can most definitely guarantee that the stock market is going to go down. And you probably want to put your money or take your money out of certain industries and put into something that's, you know, that kind of like makes sense at the time. So at the, at the peak of the pandemic, people took money out of retail and put into technology and stay at home industries. So. With this going on right now, you know, you got the new uh, Omicron or Omicron, whatever, how you pronounce virus variant going around um, along with holiday season, end of the year. Yeah, it's just it's just a bad time for stocks right now and crypto. So always pay attention to your VIX. You also want to look at your CPI index, which I'm going to put a solid line for this one instead of bars because you see it better this your consumer price index this is basically the index that calculate and monitors the price of everything you know all all the goods that we buy as you know consumers um that mean you know your milk meat bread gas clothes uh utilities everything all of this get factored into this cpi index and as you can see it's been going up since money been around, <laughs> since the uh, Federal Reserve Bank has been around. So if this continues to grow up, you know, you probably got to, you know, uh, re-strategize your investment. Um, you know, put money into other sectors, other industries that make sense to you at that particular time. And the last chart you want to look at is this right here, what you call the 10-year treasury rate. See, this is why I think that this sell-off is just purely, you know, people taking their gains and trying to minimize their tax liabilities because the 10-year treasury rate is actually showing signs of declining. You know, when it started, when it started to shoot up around this time right here, let me see if you can, if you 
can see it. When they start to shoot up around the beginning of the year, you know, this time right here is when the stock market kind of took a hit. It was very bearish around this time because big institutions, they feel safer by putting their money in the treasury bond and getting their slow money rather than risking their money when the when the VIX is going up and all these other uh, outside influences. So as you can see, it's starting to go down. So this one, I'm not really, you know, um, fixated on the treasury rate right now. Um, with this, if it goes back above 1.50, 1.75, something like that, then I'm going to have to re-strategize my investment plan. But um, if this was going up and the VIX, then, yeah, I would just cash out on everything and just let the market do what it do and just wait. But you always want to look at those three particular charts. My, my air just came on, opened the door right here, make, make me feel like it's ghost. But, um, yeah, Finviz, got your stock, heat map, crypto, I mean, coin market. CoinMarketCap.com got your heat map for your cryptos. And TradingView going to have all of this information. Um, you can be on the economy, stocks, crypto, or whatever. And then also the dollar index. I just like to, you know, peep in on this from time to time to see exactly what's the true value of the USD. Um, it's trying to recover its value from what it was, you know, prior to COVID or to the pandemic. But that's why, I, like, with this chart, this is actually a good chart right here. So I'm not really concerned about, you know, the inflation and what's going on on the monetary side of things. It's just a bad time to be in stocks right now in certain industries. So just try to keep this in mind. Um, at the end of the year, you might want to find any green that you see. And at the end of November, my opinion, you might go and cash out because December – it's an icky month. Anything can happen. And, and for the most part, it's bad things that happen in December. So with that, with that being said, I just want to bring this on your radar, put this in front of you, give you some things to research. I got a lot of stuff to research myself, so I'm, I'm growing as I'm learning. So whatever I come across, I'm letting you all know. And I'm feeling good while I'm investing. Make sure you do the same thing. Please like, comment, and subscribe. More so. Uh, subscribe and comment, you know, likes is whatever, you know. With that being said, I see you all next time. Look out for the next video. I'm out. <laughs>